I have created several illustrations to help explain the movement of chi in our bodies using the example of a waterfall. Please follow along. Our bodies have two polarities, and the way that we move energy around our bodies is through something called potential difference. Potential difference can be explained simply. Think of a waterfall versus a stagnant pool of water. A waterfall is full of energy. It is vibrant and it moves from one location to another. A stagnant pool of water just sits there and it doesn't move at all. Why? The difference is all about energy. The reason that there is no water flow in a stagnant pool of water is because there is no energy difference in the water in the pool. For water to flow, there needs to be a difference in energy between one area and another. If there is a variation in the way that the water is positioned, it flows from the area with high potential energy to the area with low potential energy in order to create balance. In the case of a waterfall, this energy is supplied by elevating one segment of the water. The elevated water has more energy supplied by gravity than the water at the base. This difference in energy potential makes the water move. In the case of a waterfall, it is gravity that defines the energy involved. The higher the elevation of water, the higher the potential energy it has. Using water tanks as an example, the higher tank of water has more potential energy than the lower tank. Again, this is due to the energy supplied by gravity. As the water flows down to the lower tank, it loses potential energy in the process. This is because the tank at the bottom has less gravity and thus less potential energy. Once it reaches the lower tank, it has a lower potential energy than the water in the higher tank. Once the higher tank is completely empty, water won't flow back upwards on its own. This is because water cannot flow from an area of low potential energy to an area of high potential energy, at least not without help. For the same reason, if you simply connected a pipe from the lower tank to the higher tank, the water won't go back up to the higher elevation. If we want our water to keep flowing, we need to make it return to the higher tank in order to supply the additional energy provided by gravity. For this, we need to provide a boost to the system. This is possible with a water pump. Water in the higher tank has a higher energy potential due to gravity. It flows down to the lower elevation, giving up energy in the process. This is because it loses the energy provided by gravity through losing elevation. The pump provides additional energy to drive the system by taking the water with low potential energy and pumping it back to the higher tank. The water that has reached the higher tank now has a high potential energy due to the increased elevation and is able to flow down again, repeating this cycle over and over. This is how our chi channels work. Our bodies create energy in the elixir fields, also known as dantian, and sends it throughout the various energy channels of the body with acupuncture points serving as the water pump used in the previous illustration. This is how the energy or the chi of the body continues to flow. This is also how the cells in our body utilize energy. Our cells have a potential difference as well. This is referred to as a dipole, and it is what allows them to circulate energy. A dipole is a pair 
of equal and oppositely charged or magnetized poles separated by a distance. Just like the example of a waterfall, our bodies have two polarities, top and bottom, and they are connected by the spinal cord. The spinal cord is called the chong mai in traditional Chinese medicine. Chong translates roughly as to rush through, the same way that an electrical cord moves energy through a potential difference at lightning speed. The upper and lower polarities, you can also call them the upper and lower dantian, refer to the two brains of the body, one in our head and the other in our gut. For more details on this fascinating subject, please see the book, The Second Brain by Michael Gershing. It outlines the remarkable discovery of the enteric or gut nervous system.